Now journalist John Heilman and Mark Halpern are doing a sequel. It's called Double Down, detailing the inner workings of the 2012 presidential campaign. The book and its authors are being called by some supermarket tabloid trash, looking at you, John Huntsman Sr., while others are relishing the book's really, really amazing quotes. First up, revelation that President Obama's top aides considered replacing Vice President Joe Biden with Hillary Clinton on the Democratic ticket in the fall of 2011, with Mr. Obama's low popularity making re-election uncertain. Aides organized extensive focus group sessions and polling. Former White House Chief of Staff Bill Daley told the New York Times that considering a campaign shakeup was simply due diligence. You have to remember at that point the president was in awful shape. So we were like, holy Christ, what do we do? But the Lord stayed out of this one, and Biden remained on the ticket. Today, the White House pushed back at the account. It's important to know that campaigns uh, and pollsters, uh, part of campaigns, test a lot of things. Uh, what I can tell you without a doubt is that the president uh, never considered that, and had anyone uh, <laughs> brought that idea to him, he would have uh, <coughs> laughed it out of the room. And there was the issue with a political force off the ticket, Bill Clinton. As the New York Times reports, the book says Obama could barely endure spending much time with his predecessor. Mr. Obama rarely contacted the former president during his first few years in office, but changed his tune after the party's midterm losses. Aides thought that a golf outing would make the two men closer, but they did not even finish 18 holes. Obama telling an aide afterwards, I like him in doses. That was apparent when following a fundraiser, Obama was unable to, quote, handle any more undiluted Clinton, instead of having a one-on-one -on -one meal with Bubba, Obama invited aides from both of their staffs to join them at dinner and talk to them about their children, rather than talking politics with Clinton. As for Clinton himself, well, he couldn't get over how remarkably lucky Mr. Obama was. As this excerpt published by Politico explains, Romney's ineptness staggered Clinton. After the release of the 47% video, he remarked to a friend that while Mitt was a decent man, he was in the wrong line of work. He really shouldn't be speaking to people in public. As for Obama, Clinton trotted out for his pals the same line again and again. He's luckier than a, I'm paraphrasing here, a doubly endowed dog. It's a family show, people. <laughs> Joining me now is McKay Coppins, political editor for BuzzFeed, and Carrie Fitt, Karen Fitty, host of Disrupt, which airs weekends at 4 p.m. Eastern. She's former communications director for the DNC. Well... Can we tell people that you gave us the unedited version of that quote? I did. I did. I'm a journalist. I'm just reporting. Uh, just to get that image out of everyone's head. Okay. The people, so people, uh, I, I read and enjoyed Game Tours, actually. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, this, this kind of book will generate a, a lot of, a lot of uh, you know, a, a lot of chatter in yes. the next week. It's just one of those books, and it will. And so the first thing to me is, how do you, as just a consumer of news deal with the information presented to you because it's not just this book uh, that this happens the woodward books are another great example um uh, ron no, summer ron uh, suskin's books these books that are behind the scenes you are their books there's no sources you don't know who told you what right. and so you have to read it kind of decoding what is in the book but also right. what happened <laughs> off set to right. make that appear in the book <laughs> Almost four years ago, they came out with Game Change, a revealing and often dishy behind the scenes look at the 2008 presidential campaign. Now, journalist John Heilman and Mark Halperin are delivering a sequel. It's called Double Down, detailing the inner workings of the 2012 presidential campaign. The book and its authors are being called by some supermarket tabloid trash, looking at you, John Huntsman Sr., while others are relishing the book's really, really amazing quotes. First up, revelation that President Obama's top aides considered replacing Vice President Joe Biden with Hillary Clinton on the Democratic ticket in the fall of 2011 with Mr.